okay so hey guys in this video we're gonna be building the front-end mentor QR code component made so this is the project that we're gonna be building so it comes along with some images like this QR code which are gonna be using to build the project you can get that in the from this URL which I'm gonna leave in the description down below so if you want to get started along with this project I recommend getting the starter files for this link so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to start with working on the index or html file so i have an extension for live server i'm going to open this on a live development server so i recommend you should uh use live server it's very good i also link an article why important useful visual studio uh, code extension that can make your life easier i'm going to click on go live Sometimes it takes a while. So okay, the attribution is not pretty much needed. I don't need this for this tutorial. I can just comment it out, but it might be useful in case you might think of let's just say you want to submit it. The live development server has opened. So that's cool. So let's just put the design that we're building in the next tab. Okay, so how are we gonna go about doing this? So first of all, I'm gonna remove the style tag which is also not needed i'm going to remove everything that's not needed so first of all the way i go about doing this we have to have a container to wrap everything and that container is also going to be useful so when we're centering it because this is perfectly in the dead center of the screen so we're going to say container then we're going to have the what is the name? okay a container then that new visual studio code stuff <laughs> so then but you guys know that that's a container right so then we're going to have the card dash container then inside the card container we're not actually going to have the card right so card or you could remove the card container i don't think that's necessary again our primary container will serve as that but normally when i'm building it in a, as part of a website i normally like to leave that inside of there so inside the card okay so inside the card what are we going to have by the way this is a card in case you're not seeing that so inside the card what are we going to have so this is simply we're going to have a div for this card image and we're going to have a card content with the title and body so that's how you break down card components you normally have an image of so card dash image then we're gonna have the card dash body then the or rather i like to call it card content then inside here let's just put another div of card title then finally card body this is the card title is usually span but because it's the title is, is, is two titles in one that's why i'm using it so first of all let's let's put this here so improve your front end project so copy this this is inside the card title so i'm going to put this in a break tag at this point so let's see if i look at what we're building for a second as you can see it's broken at that front end portion cool we're gonna put this inside h3 for now okay paragraph so the inside the card here we're gonna have a paragraph and uh we're gonna put all this all the rest so copy x this and paste that inside So save. Look at this in the browser once more. Okay, everything is going well. So what I think is that the okay, what what is what we're gonna do next is that in the card image we're gonna have the image actually. It could be a background image, but I think there's no harm having it being a regular image. So let's look at that. Okay, is there's no there's no harm having be a regular image. So let's come to the CSS, which is actually the most interesting part of how we make sense of our crappy HTML. So style.css. Then inside here, 
I'm going to make a new file called style.css. So let's start straight away with the CSS. So I'm going to come to the blank empty CSS, which I've already linked. Okay, save. So now I'm going to come to the container. And to center it, I'm going to give it a display of flex, which puts it in a flex container. Justify content center on the X axis. Align items center on the Y axis. And so that it takes up the full height, because if it doesn't take up the full height, you won't see it centered on the Y axis. So 100 view heights. Save. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So the card, we're going to give, okay, on the card, sorry. On the card, we're going to give this a width of, let's start with 300 pixels to begin with. We're going to give the card a width of 300 pixels and we're going to give the card image, we'll come back to the card, which is the image inside the card image, we're going to give this a height of 300 pixels as well. Check that out. So that looks a lot more smaller now. So the body is not, it's not, it's not, it's not white. As you can see in the preview, it is not white at all. So if we put this right over here, it is not white. So what we have to do is that we have to copy this light grayish color, give it to the body. So background color this. Then come here. You can see that it has that background. Now I'm not going to give the card a background color of white really nice so we can see that take effect so the card content okay which has a card title and the card body we're going to give this a padding as well or maybe you can just give a padding totally on every part of the card so every on every corner of the card so padding 15 pixels It's now so we have that nice round padding and on that thing on the card content what i want to do on the card content is to give it a text and line of center okay now the text is properly centered the card is looking quite sharp so let's give it a border radius of 20 pixels copy we can also give the image 20 pixels border radius okay nice 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 one touch we need a font so this link is in the starter files style guide so this is where i got that link from so what we do is that we select the 400 and we select 700 so what we do copy this put it on your css on the top of your css Boom. so it doesn't just apply automatically we also have to copy that as well and apply it to the body save so let's look at that so let's look at that nice that's looking pretty nicely and the 700 that we also applied got applied here at this point we are almost done with the card really we are almost seriously done if you look at it once more, we just need to make it a little bit more compact. That was what I think, in my opinion. Give it some spacing here and there, and we should be done in the matter of this. So I think the card is a bit too wide, and we have to control the spacing. So on the card content, on the card content, let's just give it an extra padding of uh, 10 pixels. Okay, let's see how that looks. And that looks a bit more better. That is a bit more closer to the original thing. And uh, the card body, which is the paragraph. So the card body. We also want to give the card body a, a color. Not the background color, but a foreground color of that light grayish. As you can see here, it has a light grayish color. Maybe it's not this one. Probably not this one. Let's check on another one. Grayish blue.
Ah, right. Probably this one. At this point, what I think we should do lastly is to just give improve the font size here. So on the H3, which is the only H2 pixels. Okay, that looks bigger, better. So that's pretty much it. We are done with this simple front end mentor challenge. And this was one hell of a challenge. I hope you learned as well as I learned from it. You can even take this a step further, submit it to front end mentor and apply some box shadow here there's definitely some box shadow there so i'm not gonna it for you box shadow is just an easy part it's just like your own assignment so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe though don't forget to subscribe